Hello, and welcome to Here Comes the Bride, The Church Begins. I'm Pastor Jim DeVore at Cornerstone Church of Little Rock in Southern California, and we are doing a study of the Book of Acts. And uh, we are running out of daylight for today's, so getting it started a little bit late here, so we're going to use the fading sunlight in a darker room in my house and, and get going. We are in Acts chapter 11, beginning in verse 19. Acts chapter 11, beginning in verse 19. So if you want to Turn to that. I want to read a handful of these verses, and then we'll dive in to today's lesson. Now, these who were scattered because of the persecution, uh, and now those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, speaking the word to no one except the Jews. But there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists also preaching the Lord Jesus. Okay, let's just stop there. And I probably should have done this a lesson or two ago when we talked about Peter. Okay, so what I want to do is I just kind of want to, I'm going to share something with you on our, make this work a little bit better for you. And we're going to take a look at this. And now I'm going to go to this. Here we go. Um, this is going to be nice to us. There we go. Okay, so, all right. Now, um, we talked, remember Peter uh, went down to Joppa, and then uh, and then he he uh, then in the process of of going down to um, to Joppa, went down there, or he was in Joppa. He left Joppa, and then he went east. So if you can see my little small cursor here, and I'm down by Jerusalem, bottom right. Joppa is right here. I'm here, down here a ways, and then um, and then he um, it's right along the sea, and then where he went um, to the to the centurion was in this area, okay? So we got Peter over in this area, okay? All right, now, let's talk about these places. Okay, so we just finished talking about Peter, and he reported to the church everything that was taking place. And so um, so he went back to Jerusalem after going over there. So he, he ends up back here in Jerusalem. Peter does, okay? He reports to the church how the Gentiles got saved. Okay, now, now we're in verse 10. I'm sorry, verse 19 of, of Acts chapter 11. Now, those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen. So remember, you go all the way back to a couple of chapters ago, and you've got um, you've got in Acts chapter nine, the uh, Acts chapter eight is the persecution and death of Stephen, and then the beginning of, of Acts chapter nine is when um, is when uh, we read about Saul. So when so Saul's persecution of the church, uh, the death of Stephen, the persecution of the church. Scatter the people. So again, you can see my little cursor here down by Jerusalem. So, so according to Acts chapter 11, okay, beginning in verse, let me get my dog out there chiming in for us. Beginning in verse 19, we begin to name some places. Okay, now there are those who were scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia. So they're in Jerusalem. That's the the death of of Stephen. Some traveled up to this region known as Phoenicia. Okay. So you see that's the first one up, all right? And Cyprus and Antioch, if you go directly left of Phoenicia into the Mediterranean Sea, you'll see the island of Cyprus, okay? And then it says they also went to Cyrene. So if you want to get to Cyrene, you're going to go south of Jerusalem and past Egypt down there, and all the way you're going to be going um, west, and you're on the outer edge of the Mediterranean Sea, and you're going to see where Cyrene is, okay? I want you to see the broad stroke of the scattering of these people, okay? They started Jerusalem, and they get kicked out, and so some go as far west as Cyrene, some go as far um, northwest as Cyprus, some move up to Phoenicia, okay? Some are also going to end up in Antioch. Watch this, okay? All right, but there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, so these men, the Cyprus and Cyrene men that I'm sharing about are men that came from those places, arrived in Jerusalem, who had come to know Jesus as their Savior. They're scattered, so before they return home, they go up to Antioch. Okay, so they came from these places, Cyrene and Cyprus, but now they're going up to Antioch. And I'm not sure why. If that happened on your screen, and my screen may have happened on yours too. So we're going to try that again. Maybe I ran out of time for the sharing screens here. So let's try this again and uh, get you back up to this. Okay, there we are. All right, I must have hit a button or something there. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I, let me try, there it is, okay, great, okay, so they, they, these men, before going home, travel up to Antioch, according to 
Acts chapter um, 11. Okay, so it says, but there were some of them, men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists, also preaching the Lord Jesus. So remember, the Hellenists are Greek-raised Jews. They are Jews by ethnicity, but they're raised in a Greek culture, and so they're called Hellenists, and so Antioch is going to be a Greek culture, many Jews there. So they shared with them, okay, and you ready for this? Okay, uh, verse 21, and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. So in Antioch, in Antioch now, we now have a, a brand new church form, okay? This is shortly after the stoning of Stephen. Um, people are scattered. They, some are scattered to Antioch. They go as believers in Jesus Christ. They share with the Jews there. Those Jews get saved. They're ready to follow Jesus Christ. Okay, now watch what happens here, okay? All right. Um, so now the report of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Okay, so my little cursor's there in Antioch. The, uh, the, the fact that a new church has been formed in Antioch, that there's a bunch of believers there, it gets down here to Jerusalem. They hear about it. The apostles send Barnabas, okay, the son of encouragement, to Antioch to help bring these believers together and get this church going, okay? Let's watch what Barnabas does. Uh, verse 22, when Barnabas, when he, Barnabas, came and saw the grace of God, he was glad and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. So what is he telling these new believers? I'm excited for you. I'm glad for you. Remain faithful to God. Persecution's coming remain faithful to God. Um, so what does it say about Barnabas? Verse 24, he was a good man full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. So we got a lot of believers here, okay? All kinds of believers have been added to the Lord. Now watch this next line, okay? So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, okay? We talked about this, so this was three years later. Saul has returned from Arabia, okay? He is now back um, in Tarsus, where that's his hometown, he's, he's walking with the Lord, waiting on the Lord, um, probably sharing his faith, probably preaching in the synagogues, probably ruffling the feathers of a lot of Jews, okay? So, so what, is, what does Barnabas do? He's got all of these Hellenist Jews, so these Greek Jews who are saved. Barnabas says, hey, I need some help here. So he goes and gets Paul, okay? So verse 26, when he had found him, Paul, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. Wow, that's, that's, that's great stuff right there. Okay, so this is where we first get Christian, which means Christ follower. Okay, so Barnabas is sent from Jerusalem. He goes to Antioch. He goes to get Paul and Tarsus, brings him back to Antioch. And they help this church full of new believers from people as far as Cyrene and Cyprus who have been also added into the Antioch group, and they have a brand new set of believers. Okay, let's, let's finish up chapter 11 all here. Now, in those days, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch, and one of them named Agabus stood up and foretold by the Spirit that these would be, be a great famine over all the world. This took place in the days of Claudius. Now we've got a, a marker. Luke drops into this. Okay, let me drop in a historical marker to give you context of what's taking place. So the famine of, that's going to take place takes place in the days of Claudius, you know, Claudius. So the disciples determined, Emperor Claudius. So the disciples determined everyone according to his ability to send relief to the brothers living in Judea. So now this brand new church in Antioch, hearing of the famine coming, decides that the people in Jerusalem, they're already outcasts. They're already poor because they turned to Jesus and they've been kicked out of all their, their Jewish upbringing, their Jewish jobs, their Jewish support systems. They're going to need some food. So this brand new group of believers, what do they do? They send help to Judea. And the last verse of chapter 11, they did so, sending it to the elders by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. By the hand of Barnabas and Saul. So now Barnabas is going to return to Jerusalem. Saul's going to come with him. Saul has already been approved by the apostles, though he hasn't done any. Um, and so he's coming back to Jerusalem with the gifts from Antioch to help the Jerusalem church. Wow. You just, you, I, it's, I think it's good for you to have this map this whole time to kind of look at the bouncing around back and forth of what's going on so you can get an idea of where all these things are taking place and where all these people come from. All right. So that'll wrap us up. We'll give you the, the full picture here. Um, and as we, uh, 
wrap these things up. I've, I've decided whether or not to give you a shot of the, of the sun. So we're going to the sun. But, uh, you can see it's going down. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful shot. But wasn't that uh, an exciting moment for you? Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to redo this whole lesson just to edit that out. You're just going to have to say thanks, Jim, for the look at your tree. All righty. So glad to be sharing with you. <laughs> Here comes the bride where the church begins. We are done for today. We'll get back to our devotional number 29 next time.